He who would cross the bridge of death must answer me these questions three. Uh, the other side, you see. Well, we're not in Tibet. We're in Nepal, Bhutan, Mustang, or anywhere else over there. But we do have that kind of a bridge right here. It is the bridge of death. And going over the not at all ominously named Blackfoot River. No problems. <laughs> yep, on a bicycle. It didn't fall down last time. It looks pretty sturdy. Yep. Well, except for that that piling down there. What? This one that should be actually. Oh. Yeah. What's going on with the, what the hell? Well, it's laying in the wrong direction. It's supposed to be kind of standing up and helping support things. Um. And like that one that isn't connected is also supposed to be helping support things. But you know that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, in case any of the steel planking gives way suddenly and I have to be grabbing on before I fall into the river full of crocodiles, right? <laughs> Howdy guys, it's a Duke from the Montana Bigfoot Project. I'm out with Artemis Throckmorton and we are going to the far side of the Blackfoot River and do a little bit of recon on the couple of caves in a suspicious looking area of forest that I've been keeping an eye on and we'll let you know what we're finding when we get there. The intrepid Artemis Throckmorton crossing the river in the gorge of eternal peril on the bridge of death. And yes, you can see from here if you look carefully at the other side of the bridge that uh, it's sort of not being buttressed and held up the way it was originally intended. Hence the name, the bridge of death. <clears throat> right. Having successfully crossed over onto the other side of the Blackfoot, here to get you guys a little look at the river. And this is how clear the water is out here. You can see right to the bottom of the river. It's fairly ridiculous. If there was any huge humongo fish in there, we could actually see them. Just look down at them. So there you go. So we've crossed over the Bridge of Death in the Gorge of Eternal Peril, only to be perilously forced to cross the Gorge of Eternal Peril again! No, actually it's only the River of Dire Warning. A mere streamlet. But yeah, this is kind of a weird hokey bridge here. Let's go down the state land down here. This used to be a railroad, uh, Real bad. Going down this way. That's where we're walking to. So once again, I'm across the river from my camp, which is over there on that side. And I have the lovely Emma Peel with me. And we are just going to go on a dangerous expedition up this quite obvious walkway. At least it's obvious from here. You can sort of see something from walking up and down this thing. And then when you get to right here, see tracks. What made those? Well, we're going to go find out. Because right above it is that cave. And we're also going to find that out. The lovely Emma Peel is climbing up this quite obvious V in the rocks here. You can see where she's walking. There's a something going back and forth up here. Maybe somebody's living up here. I don't know. But right ahead of her is where there's some tracks. So, okay, that's right where those tracks are. Yep. What, what do they look like? Any ideas? Well, they're big. <laughs> okay, hold on. Don't go any further. Let me catch up to you. I got to bring the folks up there with us so they can see them. Yeah, I'm kind of up here. You can see they look. 
moon shape and then size. Uh, steps are pretty long. Um, so I'm gonna go up and see if there's a person living up here or what the heck is living up here. We got a little bit further to climb here. But this is the spot we can see from down below where there's obviously something that's been churned out and it doesn't look like a, a big horn. Looks like a human sized footprint, so let's find out. The cave of Caius Banag, where is written on the walls in the living rock the location of the Holy Grail. <laughs> nah, it's just a mining cave, but this is where the tracks led up to. So we're gonna go in. Take a little look see for a little ways here. Let's see what we can find. If I can get in my pocket, I might actually be able to grab my my camera and my flashlight. Now let's see. There we go. What do we got here? I'm locking in. With my head straight up. Not having to lean over at all. And this does appear to be the end, unless there's a secret door here. Oh, damn. Nope, no secret door. Come on, open up. <laughs> Somebody started digging a tunnel in here apparently and then thought the better of it. And this is all the fruit they got. So now we're going to go check out a couple tree breaks in that weird little forest that's right across from this thing, too. Potentially some other caves. So we'll be right back. Okay. Now. Hey, it's the Duke coming to you from the Montana Bigfoot Project. We are on the Blackfoot River, currently taking a look at some caves around the area here. So far, no uh, actual Bigfoot evidence, but we're going into an area over here that's uh, really suspicious that I've been keeping an eye on for months now. And we should hopefully find something interesting there. But I'll tell you, even if we don't, whenever I want to see what the heck Bigfoot has been up to on the East Coast, I only have to go to one place, and that's the Pennsylvania Bigfoot Project. Mary Fabian does a spectacular job, and she has all the people over there in that area of the country that know what they're doing on her site. So if you want to know what Bigfoot's been up to over in the East, Go to the Pennsylvania Bigfoot Project, Mary Fabian. Duke says it rocks. Thanks. Dude. That really had me going for a second there. It's just that darn stump squatch again. That is a self-propelled amphibious chainsaw down there, one of nature's most deadly animals. There's nowhere you can escape, and it can gnaw through a two-foot thick tree! That's, it's a beaver. Okay, so beavers aren't that dangerous, but their fur is really cool. And yeah, we're just up on the embankment here, up above them. Walking back from our little expedition today. Spotted a beaver to really take a look at him. Whoops, and there he goes. Alright, pretty cool. 